right, I'm gonna show you how to make a beat in FL Studio. The first thing that you're gonna need is to get your drums. And <coughs> I'm gonna be using this pack that I got from Legacy Sounds. I can, I'll leave it in the description so you can download it. But I just like the sounds that they have. They sound pretty good. Just drag them over here to where the presets are, and I'll just drag them on top of them to replace. Yo, and then for me, some reason it uses a loop point. Sometimes so you have to go in and click this off so that it won't it won't keep repeating. Make sure that the loop is not turned on. And then if you if you just make sure that it's not turned on, then it, you're good, and you can just keep working on the drums. So now that we got some drum sounds here, we can just make like a drum pattern. So we're going to have the hi-hats hit on every second time. So like every two steps. And you can also just, if you click on, if you right click this, you can do fill two steps. And then, up is going to go like right here so it's gonna go like eight steps and then clap and eight steps clap eight steps clap and then clap here eight steps <laughs> and then just bring the hi-hat so you can hear how that sounds oh yeah and make sure you're gonna want to go to this mixer Alright, so the first, to just make sure that you're ready to start working on these beats, the first things you're going to want to do is go to the master and turn the limiter off because this is on by default and it kind of, it just makes everything louder and you don't want that because it can mess with your mix and it messes with how you can, how you're thinking the song will be because you're, you're hearing it the wrong way. So once you turn that off, we can listen to it. It sounds good, but the hi-hats are kind of boring. So what we can do is go in and just like every other step, we're going to change down the velocity. See how it's on velocity up here. That's going to change how, like how loud each hi-hat hits. And you can also change the pan. And that's like, it means like which side so if you do the left it's going to be in your left ear and if you do it in the right it's going to be in your right ear so you can mess with how that sounds but we're going to do velocity and just do it on every second step we're going to bring it down a little bit and this will make it just bounce more Also, I'm going to change the pitch of the clap a little bit down. You can do use both of these. This one just affects it a lot more. I'm also going to turn on the hi-hats a little bit. And once you make sure that all of your sounds are in a mixer channel like on the side how there's a number if it isn't in one it's just gonna look like this with a couple lines so make sure that you put it in a channel and then we can go and set up the mixer 
So just go over here to mixer. And I have these in extra large mode, but when you start, I think it's like this, like wide or like compact. And it's like a lot of them, but I like to go up here where it's like this and then it says probably like compact or wide and then change to extra large so you can see them better and they're like bigger. And now we're gonna go over here to the mixer and we're gonna name it so it's the same as it is on the channel rack. So this is the 808 right here. And then the clap. And when you're naming it, you can go over here to change the color. And oh yeah, and to name it, you right click, press rename color and icon. And then I'm gonna do clap. Do that like this color. And then hi hats is three, so go back here, hi hats. I'm gonna make it like yellow. And then snare, I'm gonna make that like this color. And this will just help us remember like where our stuff is. And these also these control the volume of your of just anything that you put into them after the effects. So if you put like a reverb on these or a delay, this is how it's gonna sound after and like how loud. So we can turn it down and turn it up. Let's just get like Put that two track and then we're gonna do like red and do kick. So now that we have this, we can just we have the hi hats, let's add some kicks in. All right, so we're gonna. So right now I'm gonna we're gonna figure out what type of tempo we want to be at, and when you start it's gonna be at 130, and that just sounds like this. It's like a standard rap um, speed for beats. But we can change this to however we want. So for the beat that I'm gonna be making gonna be more of like some slow drums so I'm bring it down to like between anywhere of like a hundred and one twenty and just kind of see what sounds good and for this I'm just kind of placing the kicks you can place them anywhere and just see how they sound but usually want you want to place them like when the hi hat hits somewhere in here just to add some bounce But we're probably going to want to find a melody before we start developing, developing these drums anymore. So <clears throat> we can either grab a sample or we can make it in the piano roll. And for this tutorial, let's just make it. So go over here to plugin project picker and you have all of these plugins and you, we can really use anything. I want to use Nexus, but also I think that Citrus. I think this one's good. Yeah, I like that. So I'm going to record some notes with this MIDI board that I have. To do that, we're just going to right click, make sure we're recording notes, press the record button, and then we can just press play and it's going to count down for us. Just make sure that you have 
this countdown enabled. Here to this, make sure that draws on and snap to grid. Make sure that's on fourth step so we can align it to the grid. And then we're just gonna make this sound good and be on beat. But this right here would be a minor because it goes the first note and then two spaces, the second note, then three spaces, and that makes a minor. But also you can go up here to um this thing right here, this thing with the three lines, and you can change to be like minor seventh and it'll make it for you. And it'll do the chord. So you can just Yeah, let's just make one with that. Go up here and this is like the easiest way to kinda figure out what the notes are and how they sound. If you're a beginner, it's just to go through all these and like listen. Because, like, this is gonna do a major chord. So, this is a major chord. A C major. And then I'm gonna do a C minor, which is right, which is this. That sounds good, but something that you can do to make it a little bit better is add go two steps up from this if it's a minor chord. And if it's a major chord, you're going to want to go three steps up. But you're going to do the opposite of what's under it. So if it's three steps, you do two steps. And if it's two steps right here, then you're going to do three steps with this one. It's gonna make a minor, a minor seven. And like, yo, so if you wanna make icy twat type chords, he uses a lot of these ones, which are the minor ninth. And that just means that there's like five chords right here. And it goes, so for a, for a minor ninth, it's gonna be the first one, then two spaces, the second one then three spaces, then two spaces of gap, and then three spaces, and that makes a minor seventh. So if we do that, it's gonna be like. And that's how you can get a sound that kind of sounds like icy swaps type. Yeah, you can use these but the problem that I found with them is that when you try to like move the different notes they all move together and I don't know if you can fix that but it like it, it doesn't I don't know does this fix it oh no that changes to not only one okay but yeah you can't edit them all so I don't like that but you can use them to like so let's say that you want this note, you can just take it here and then go over here and just like copy the note. And then then you can like actually like move this and change the velocity and make it sound really interesting by changing and making like each one of these individual hits different. And that's how I like to do it to make it sound like just a better sound altogether. I want to make like a happy song, so let's go do C major. So first one, then three steps, and I'm going to change the volume on each of these to make them hit a little different. And then two spaces, then a hit, then three spaces, and a hit. Next 
Discord, I want to be like, let's just see if this sounds good. E major chord, uh, major seven. So we're gonna go three spaces, put it there, then two spaces right here, then three spaces, and we'll have a note like this. And also I'm gonna, so you see how there's a gap right here? I left like a little gap, so it's gonna be like a, a pause and then this note's gonna hit. Somehow I made all of these a slide note, but you definitely don't want that. I'll show you how to do that, how to use those once you get to the 808. Change the volume on all of them. You can also do that with the panning too if you want to do something cool. I just go in up here, change the panning, and then you can move it. Like go a little bit to the side. Let's, I'm just gonna restart this melody, but I wasn't really feeling. Yeah, I like that. All right, this is good. We're gonna make something out of this. Just try to build like a melody out of this. And alright, let's bring some drums in. So go over here, make sure the snap to grid is line, and then make sure that you have the pattern that you made just right here, and then you can place it and it'll just bring it out and then you can place like let's just do like nine up to nine, so like eight loops of this. And then take this pattern too, drag it out like this far and then copy and paste it so we can just play and like see how it sounds. Make sure to turn that off after you get the high ends. Honestly, I'm just gonna delete that and <clears throat> I'm gonna use Nexus, actually. It just sounds so good. So let's use Nexus. Just download Nexus and we can start making some good beats. Alright, there we go. So then go back to pattern two, make sure you're here. And we can start recording some notes. setting that says only one we can turn that off and it's going to keep placing major sevens until we go and turn that setting off
Oh yeah, and then we have to, after we do the setting, we have to go down here. Here, turn this off. Okay, delete it. Change this, and then we're just gonna copy this. So, I wanna make that my own now. and so you can just go in grab like let's just grab like another instrument so I'm gonna get like a plug and grab like a bell or something actually yeah I'm gonna grab like something like this and that sounds like pretty good let's grab this two track right next to our other nexus track oh yeah and make sure to go in here to where those tracks are we're gonna go dream pad that's the one that we have there so we can change it to like purple and then i'll do like bells um synth thing and it's like blue Wait, nah, because the snare is already, like, blue. So let's change that to, like, a unique color, like, green. So we don't get confused between these. Okay, what we can do to kind of turn down how, like, because this, this pad has, like, a lot of, it's, like, a lot of frequencies and sounds. So we can EQ it out. First thing you want to do though is go back to here and how it says reverb is on that's like the stock reverb and I like to turn that off so we can kind of customize our own reverb and then we can go in here grab an EQ go over here to the fruity parametric EQ 2 and what we got to do is so that the melody the pad doesn't clash with the bass we need to get rid of some of the bass frequencies from the melody so you can just grab this like number one and drag it all the way down here and 200 is like a good because if you look up here it tells you like where what kind of sounds you're looking at when you're doing the EQ so it's like bass and low bass and we can actually listen and do the EQ at the same time to kind of see like what we're trying to get out <laughs> still take it out and the next thing we can do is do a frequency sweep to see like if the noises are 
too loud and what we're gonna do for that is take like the third fourth and fifth go down here to the bandwidth and just turn those down and then they're like really small so you can just go in and see the different frequencies and see like if the link's too loud so when we listen we can like listen for that <laughs> frequency like right here we're gonna take out and let's do it again with the fourth do it again with the fifth one so we get like a bunch of different spots right here, that's pretty bad. And then another thing we can do is with this we can kind of take out some of the high end by going like a little bit down here just to like 18,000 so it's not taking out too much and then we can raise up this treble just by like a few decibels by bringing it up like a little bit the next thing we're gonna do is make this kick harder cause like that's not hitting very hard so I wanna change the pitch down a little bit Next thing I want to do is go over here to this kick and we can EQ it. And since we're just doing the EQ on the pad, we can take down. Because on the pad, we we're bringing it like up here in the treble, we we're raising it. So we're going to take that off on the kick. So we can drag the 7 down to like right here. And then also, we're going to put in this 808. So go up here and it changes the way that you view the. that the line affects it. So this is like a high pass filter right here pretty much and we can drag it out to like 60 because that's where the really low bass is and then the kicks usually hit between like 60 and like 200 so you can just raise it a little bit to wherever it sounds good for the kick and just like mess with it you can mess with it however you want see how it sounds you can pretty you can pretty much do whatever and just try to figure out what sounds good And then we can, all right, then go to this kick and we can go add another effect. Let's do fast distort. So you can just grab it over here. And then we, what we're going to do is turn the mix up a little bit. So it sounds like, it sounds really loud right now. So just leave it there. This is going to affect how much like it's affected. But we're also going to change it over here. So. You can do that a little bit and then you can go over here and just turn it down like it's right here and that's gonna help the kick come through just on like the speakers it's gonna help it hit harder and then for EQ let's go back to the drums and listen so the kicks are better but the hi-hats they're like they're just kind of like high pitched and like it's not that good so we can go to the EQ and let's take out up to like 200 or like actually let's take up to like 500 do a high pass filter and then up here we can take down a little bit off the top and hear how that sounds alright so that's good that's better. Now we can add some reverb. So do Fruity Reverb 2. And we can... These little arrows up here are going to change the, what preset we have. So we can change it to like all the different kinds. And pretty much this shape shows you how much like reverb is pretty much on it. So you can change it however you... How, you can even like mess with it like this just with your mouse. Or you can do like the presets and you can change all these knobs. But pretty much all we're really going to be looking at is like how big it is right here, the size. And then the dry is how much of like the like the just straight regular vocals are coming through. And the wet is going to be how much of like the reverb vocals are coming through. So we're going to, these are just what we're going to focus on is the dry, the wet, and the size. 
And that's like a lot of reverb right now, so we can turn down the wet. And this. Actually turn it up, and then we can go over here and change the mix. And bring it down to like halfway or less, so you can just kind of hear it. <coughs> and if you want to get a really good sound kick, you can download this plugin called Camel Crusher, and that's gonna just distort it more and add like another effect. So we can go over here and like choose a preset. I like this preset. It just makes the kick hit like really hard. And the clap's good, but we could like it doesn't really sound how I want it to sound, and I want to change that. So we can go to EQ, take out some of the take out some of the bass noises from the clap. Probably like two hundred. And then we can boost some of the, with like the sixth one, we can go and see where it's kind of hitting. And we can boost it. Just like a little bit, so like you can change how much is affected down here with this little bandwidth. I'm just going to do like a little thing like this, right where the clap is. And then take out some of the high frequencies. Add some reverb on there, and then definitely turn it down. We can go through the presets and see what sounds good. Get like a good mix on that. And let's go back in here at sounds all together. So all these things, these levers, are going to control the volume, so we can mess with these to get the perfect volume that we want. And since we have all of them colored, we'll know which ones were affected. Next thing I'm going to do is right click on the kick, copy it, go to a new pattern, paste it in, and we'll do the 808. So the first thing I like to do for my 808s is go in here and make sure the loop point's not on. Then go up to here where it has this little envelope thing, and go over here, and this is going to affect like pretty much the volume of the 808 and how it comes in. So I'm going to turn the attack down, and that just means that like how long it takes for the 808 to come in. So if we have like a really long attack, it's going to be like, never come in pretty much. But if it's like this, it's just going to slowly come in. So you can, you can use this uh, if you like that sound. But I just want it to come in immediately. And then I'll bring up the hold. Turn on the decay and the sustain. And then it's just going to look like this, like a box. And that's what we want. It's going to affect, it's going to let us like change the volume and it's not going to clip as much. So then we can go into here after we've pasted our kick so we know where it's gonna hit. Right click, press piano roll, and let's just make like an 808 pattern. So why don't we just take our 808, paste it in here, and listen while we. We can listen to it while we're like putting the 808. Like do do let's go up like this and then does like this. We can just put these 808s wherever we really want, but we kind of want it to match. We want it to be the same key as the melody and we want it to sound good together.
last one, I'm gonna do a slide note, and the slide mo note just means it's gonna change the pitch. So if we put this up to like, let's just go one octave up, which is 12 notes. So it's gonna be the next, like, it's gonna be like a whole, it's gonna be the same note, but like 12 notes higher up. So it's gonna be a lot higher up of a pitch. Put an 808 there, make it like a small one right on the end, like the last block. Just grab the side of it and bring it down. And then we can zoom in by pressing hold control and then the scroll wheel on your mouse. And that'll let you zoom in. And we want to make sure it's not going over the edge. So we can go over here. And this one's going over the edge. So like, take it back like that. By changing it to none so that it's smaller. And then go back to the fourth step. Because you don't want to be like on the wrong time. And then what we can do is click... Just do like a left click, like a basic hit click on the E note. Do a double click actually. And then right here where it's a triangle, that's going to do the slide. So you want to click that and then you want to press accept and it'll do a slide note. <laughs>
we can click on any notes that we think sound good but i'm just gonna try to base it off these notes that are here As you can see, I'm not even doing it on the same note, but it just sounds good. So I put a note there. down here so you can change this to see how loud the bell is <laughs> sound good I'll click over here and with your keyboard you can like press the different keys and it'll play just play the, and you can just com combine these and you can try to like even make the same notes that you see like the shapes or if you have a midi board you can just play that but we're just kind of trying to make something that sounds good in this and it like matches the other chords. to come in until later so let's go right click cut that go to and go up here and you can scroll to change a new to make a new pattern or you can press the plus button and that'll let you uh, name it or you can just scroll like scroll the floor and then right click on here and paste it back in and then we have these same notes but we have it in a different rack so we can allow it to come in later so like it starts off playing this for eight bars let's say and then it comes in and it'll be good <laughs> Make sure that 
up here the snap ticker is that line so that it stays on these lines once you're going through and like putting your piano stuff there and to change to the different things you can just click on it like this click on it and then and then when you press it'll be the same thing so you can go like that or you can also go up here and like drag and make sure you like drag to a different pattern that you had then click on it and you press paste another th thing that you can do to make this easier is like go over here to um once you're when you're creating these you can like right click and rename and color the pattern so that your patterns are actually different colors and that's that might help you remember like what you're working on too if you want to do that so let's say like pattern two is our pad and we want to just remember that that's our pad we can right click rename and color this is the pad purple or something and then it's just gonna make all of it purple and you're gonna remember like what this is so let's say that like for these bells pattern four what if you have like a bunch of bells and you don't you want to make sure that you remember like which spot this is we can go to pattern four right click rename and color <coughs> and then do like bells that come in bells that are at chorus and then turn it to a color so that you know like where you're supposed to put these oh yeah but not look let's make that a different color so that it's different <laughs> Honestly, it's not even that good. I just kind of came up with it like randomly. But like, if you're trying to do it yourself, just all you have to do is really have like an idea of what kind of melody you want, and then you can just click it into existence by putting it different places and like aligning it. And like, I mean, the best tricks, tips that I can say for making melodies is when you're a beginner, just stay on the white keys, and then you can really like. Let's just delete that. I don't even like that, but like, you can really just go on all the white keys, and you'll end up finding something that works. And you can just try different combinations until it, that, that'll help you like understand how to make good chords. And then also using this, these different melodics. But yeah, I think I'm gonna just go like, I'm just gonna play along with the beat and see what sounds good. And another thing is if you have one note and then you make it go down like half a step, it sounds, it makes it sound like really like suspenseful and like just like kind of like eerie if you just go down like half a step
philosophy, but just drag it back up. And we're gonna half it. I'm just gonna be like that. And that'll do like that little echo delay thing. And that'll do like that little echo delay thing. change this melody like the 808 still sound good so let's go back and now it's kind of like instead of going upbeat like it was before now it's going like downbeat so I'm gonna change these to go down instead of up and then bring, make sure you change this to this one that goes up to like C but it's the same note kind of like thinking of how you want it to sound so you can like change how, how like the vibe of it and how it all comes together another thing that I want to do is make these hi-hats more interesting so we can do some like hi-hat rolls and to do that you want to change the snap to grid to third steps so that you can do like stutters and the easy one that we can do first is like in this space right here, let's do a stutter. We can go like, just like that. And the, since you, we changed it to a third step, it changes the grid to be like, on a different step than, it's gonna be a third step. So it's gonna be like, I think that means, so instead of having four bars in like one grid, it's gonna be three bars. <laughs> or like three steps. Yeah. So like right here the fourth one comes in. It doesn't sound good because it's on a different so we can change the stutter to be on this one and then it's gonna stay the same. And then it goes back into the fourth note. So that's like a quick stutter we can do. And then you can just really do it like wherever you want, but a, uh, like good places that it sounds good are like right here right before the clap so like right here if, and you can do it like on the same time that a kick's hitting and that'll sound pretty good you can also do like right after the snare or clap and then like right at the end of the bar so 808 hits here let's see like a little zoom in press control and then scroll wheel and you can like do a little zoom in and let's do like a four stutter like like that hi-hat roll and then Let's do like another one right here, but let's, what we'll do is we'll go up here to snap to grid and change it to, um, oh, I did, I had it on fourth step, so let's change it back to third step. So we have like a fourth step stutter here and then a third step stutter here, and it'll like, just make it more interesting. sounding pretty good but another thing that I want to do on this is let's grab another instrument I, I want to get like a lead in there make sure to put it on a s own track so let's go up here I put it to track 8 so let's go to track 8 rename lead instruments and let's change that to like blue or actually let's change it to something unique so like this color it's different than that and then before we even pick an instrument we're always going to take the low out of the melody so we're going to bring this down to like 200 and go there and then we can go back over here and let's find something i just want something to come in like on the court on some part of the song and be like 
let's just listen and hear like what we think needs to be there like, soft piano guitars and that sounds like really chill and like beautiful so we can just go into the piano roll if we're on the same channel rack and then we're gonna see these um ghost notes and then we can just play in and if you don't have them you always just go up here to this helpers and then enable ghost notes or ghost channels and then i'm just gonna play along like a little melody <laughs> snapper change it to fourth step zoom in a little bit and then we can make it like kind of come in like one after another so it's like you're actually playing the guitar a little bit sounds like that kind of it's not as good as actually playing the guitar but like you can kind of replicate the sound Also change the velocity to make it more interesting. listening to what sounds good but I like this so let's make something so like up here and then let's go like If you look down here and like let's say let's just find the notes that are here so like this is an a this is an f sharp so if we go up here and do like an f sharp up here it's gonna sound good because it's the same notes that's being played like on the pad in the in our main melody so let's do that like an f sharp and like see it sounds good because it's being played down here and then this note is an A and that's being played in the melody too so it's like it just it's already happening here so then it, when it comes in here it's not fighting it's just it's sounding like chill all around and we can keep doing that for the rest of these chords <laughs> same note right here but I want to make it more interesting so we can instead of doing the bottom three let's do the top three and make it do like the same stutter but like this so it's gonna be like
press cut and then bring it to its own place like this pattern paste it here and then we can just make this come in so like whenever we want <laughs> Yeah, we want this to come in, and this is going to be this bells chorus, and then after this chorus, let's do like a break. And then like pause this. And then when it hits, when it comes back in to like the beat drop right here. We are not going to do this. We're going to do the pattern five, which is going to be that guitar, and that's going to come in right here. So that's going to, yeah, that'll be good. And then another thing for the arrangement, when you're, when you're working on your beats, you don't usually want it to be all like in one channel rack like this. So, But I just like to do it so I can hear how it's all coming together. And it's easier at first, but then when you... When you're going to actually like have more of like when you're closer to the finishing of your track and you're trying to mix it and like arrange all the stuff you definitely want to put these on different channel racks so just go and press cut and that's going to copy and then delete what you had there and then you can go to a new pattern like pattern six let's paste it and then we got the same thing here it's all good and then go over here let's get the kick cut that Bring it to like pattern seven paste it and then we can choose when it comes in so instead of it like us not having a choice on what on when this is happening we have them all in different racks so we can bring the hi-hat out and then let's do the kick and this is a lot better for like making your just whole song more interesting because you don't want it to just be the same the whole time <laughs> Let's say at the first we want it to just be like clap clap and then we're gonna have this then we're gonna have like the hi hats come in so change this to draw change this to like line and then we can go over here and we can actually drag like the start of it and this will change it to be to come in like right after this and you can change it right here is a clap as you can see like right there so we can just have the hi-hats come in right at the clap. And then we can even take off the hi-hats like right here. Because if you're not, it could be like offbeat and then you're out, then like you get it just messed up and it'll be really confusing. So make sure that you have that all good. And then yeah, let's just make sure that the hi-hats come back in down here. Oh yeah, like right here I got them kind of messed up. That zoomed out. So let's have the hi-hats and bring them back. And also, when there's when this plays, I want the hi-hats to come in so it kind of... And then right here, I want to take it out like right halfway through. So right where the clap would be on this last bar, take it out and then it's going to drop in. So now that we have that set up, we can also bring in the kick. So let's go after this, after these plays, I want the kick to come in the same time as these bells. So let's paste it here, the kick. And then this is going to come. And then I also want the kick to come in when this plays. So let's paste the kick there. And let's make this keep playing for another like eight bars down here. It has the guitar, but then let's just make the guitar not play anymore. And it just keeps going. And then the kicks come off. And that's gonna be our basic design for the song. So from this part, we can change this to line, make sure that's good. Then we can grab the select button up here and just select everything go back to the draw button and just click on it with a left click and bring it out to 8 bars 
or actually no bring it out to nine bars because it's gonna go eight bars and then on the ninth bar this is gonna hit and then we can build the drop so just grab the pad right here and we're gonna build it up do it twice and then yeah it's gonna go for eight bars and then it's gonna drop right here and this is usually how most songs are it could either be like eight bars of intro or like 16 bars of intro and then it drops into the main beat and then it's gonna be like right here we got 16 bars so it's gonna be like 16 bar loop pretty much right here so it's gonna be the first verse then it does like a break and then there's another 16 bars right here so it's pretty much just two um, verses and then for this for the intro this is where we put like I'm gonna put my beat tag indigo put that like right here so it plays like once then my beat tag comes in that's how I usually do it and once you paste it in right here once you just you can just drop it right on here from the side and go into track 8 and then turn down the volume all right and we're almost done with this beat we just have to finish this drop so we can zoom out with this thing or you can use like these things on the side to just zoom around or you can do control and a scroll wheel to zoom in like this horizontally and then for vertically it's alt and then the scroll and you can zoom in like that but I wouldn't mess with it too much because then it like messes with your view height and stuff but yeah you can just use that to zoom in so if you want to zoom in and look at everything and you can also use these on the side and then let's go in here oh yeah and this is your browser so pretty much anything you can go into your files and just drop like get your sounds and drag them over here and drop them into the browser and then you can use that to make beats Yo, what's up? Yeah, I'm making this video real quick. I'm almost done though. All right, so grab it. And then we're gonna need a riser real quick. And that's gonna be the last thing for our drop. Let's see. Let's just find a random riser. <laughs> that's really loud so drag it down here change this let's do reverse turn down the volume and then let's zoom in and let's make it so the end of this is when this drums hits and then this should sound good stand out is you can put like some distortion but for this song for this beat I don't want distortion on them I just want a clean 808 but what we can do is go to the EQ the parametric EQ 2 and we can take out the high end up to like a thousand because we don't really need this on that bass you won't even really be able to hear a difference anyways and another thing I want to do is add like maybe some snares for the drop so let's do like this make them quiet and then I'm just gonna go like something like this right here is gonna make them hit if I place them in these spots then it's gonna make them hit like right in between where the clap it'll be like clapping it's gonna be really bouncy so what I'm gonna do is do something like this let's change 
this to the back because the low this high pass shape take out a little bit of the bass like up to 40 and then we'll boost this up to like 100 bring it up a little bit of the low end and that'll just make it not it'll make sure that it doesn't clash with the 808 just take it up out to like up to like 200 and that should sound good <laughs> another thing that really helps this is a crash let's do like one of these Paste this down here, turn down the volume, and there we go, that's like a good drop. Keep listening to it, messing with how this sounds. You can turn it up for more distortion, or you can add like your own distortion with that fast distort, or like other plugins. And yeah, just kind of like see how it sounds together. <laughs> just done all this but really it's just putting everything together because we got all these different channel racks for everything and yeah after this at this point we have like a pretty good beat so at this point I would just be like trying to mix it and get the perfect volume and everything on every and like just listen to them solo them out see how the EQ is you can mess with that more add some reverb add some like delay on anything like let's go to the bell let's do some delay on this bell so what I'm gonna want is just like I don't want a lot of delay but I just want like a little I want it to sound pretty cool so we can change this cut to like halfway and that just depends that just shows like it affects how much of the delay comes through and then the time is how long it takes for the delay to happen so if we just right click on the green button here It'll solo it out and we can listen to it by itself. And for the delay, I want it to hit like right here on like after like four dots. And this OFS, that just like. Oh, it like affects which side of your ears it like and how long it takes for it to get there. I guess because like. Yeah, so, or, so you can keep it in the middle or you can like change it to have it like bounce from your ears. I think that sounds good. And then I'll just change the mix to like right here. So you can barely hear it, but it's still there. <coughs> and then make sure that you go over here, unmute it. So you have everything here. And then, and then we can listen to it all together.
show you how you can easily loop this. So let's say you want to have another break, and then you want these hi hats to come in again like they did, and this clap to maybe hit, and then you want like the same type of drop. But let's say yeah, just go up here, select at the bottom with the select tool, go from the start. Make sure that you get everything for the whole eight bars. Don't get anything less. Don't like make sure you remember to get it like straight. So it's not. So make sure that's straight and not like, not like crooked. Don't get like something like, I don't even know, but like something like that or like, I don't know. But yeah, just pretty much make sure you get all these eight bars. Then you can go control copy, control paste, and then drag that down here to the end. And it's your same thing. Make sure that you have the line on so that it's on beat, but then you're good right here. You can do that like another time. Come in, control copy, then control paste over here. And then it's gonna repeat for like all these bars. or learned anything like the press the like button and subscribe and comment what type of thing I should teach you